Hello everyone and welcome to a Friday video. I don't even know if we've ever had a video on Friday and if we have it definitely doesn't happen very often but I had such a huge haul yesterday that I had to break it into two parts. Once again this is solo unfortunately. The day you're watching this Friday I am going back home to be with Ryan. So the soloness and the weird like cut up Sweat Sold Saturdays are ending after this video. Even though I'm alone, I did so much thrifting that I needed to make a two-part haul. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm going to show you the dresses and tops and etc. from my thrifting. I have been all over the place. I've been to the bins three times. I've been to consignment stores. I've been legitimately everywhere. So that is where all this stuff is from. If you're interested in anything, you can email me. The first thing below in the description is my email. Or you can always DM me on Instagram. That works perfectly fine too. We're just gonna jump into this. I still have a ton, but I promise I will not make this into three parts. First up, we have this blank NYC, which I don't pick up too often, but this is really cute. Size small sweater. And it is this adorable like distressed sweater, which is super, super popular and has been for the past couple years with these ruffle sleeves. And it is all white but there are luckily no stains or tears or snags or anything on that guy. Then we have this Florite, and this is a size medium, which Florite is anthropology. Floral embroidered sleeveless blouse with a mock type neck. I love this like wine color that it is. So this brand I had actually just learned from NCI Resale or Nick, our good friend. It is called Alambica and it is a lag and look brand. They're more like drapey and like baggy and not super colorful, usually more like dull colors. And yeah, that's my take on it. But they use vanity sizing, it's a size one, so I don't know if that's like an XL or a large, I'd have to look it up. But this brand is apparently crazy expensive. Like he had found an Alambica top and sold it for like 80 bucks. So I guess I should expect to maybe make that from that piece. This was in the bins, and I honestly didn't know what brand it was, but I thought it was super cute because the brand is cut out. But it's this floral midi dress that kind of like is flowy. And it had the label in it, the fabric tag of Anthropology Urban Outfitters and Free People. Oh, it's a size medium. I believe it's Urban Outfitters, but it has the 66170 and it has an OB, which we all know is like the Free People style number. But I looked it up and nothing came up. So yeah, I'm definitely thinking that this is an Urban Outfitters. It's cute. So I, I'll i just try to find it. I'll do some research on that guy. This is an Alice and Olivia and it is upside down. <laughs> it is a size extra small. I'm not good with the tags. Like if this is a newer, older one, it's not the newest one. I know that I think the newest one is white, but there's quite a few Alice and Olivia tags. And it's this silver kind of like cocoon cardigan with just like slits for sleeves on the side. I don't know, if it doesn't sell well for me, um, the real real always takes Alice and Olivia, so I can fall back on that. This is a Diletta size medium, which is anthropology, and it is a cold shoulder blue, really soft sweater. The model picture for this is really cute. So I was very excited about that. It is oversized, so it could definitely fit like a large as well. This is a Sundance and is this a newer tag Sundance? I think so, isn't it? I don't know. Size extra small and it is a lamb's wool, mohair, wool, like all kind of bougie fabric mixture. And it's just this blue striped cardigan. I thought it was really cute. Little like kind of bluey buttons too. And obviously sweater weather will be coming. It's definitely not here yet, oh my gosh, but it's coming. So I'm trying to get a little prepared. Next up is a Dolan Left Coast collection and that is the newer tag and that is Anthropology size extra small. And it's just kind of this silky flowy top. It's a little more basic, but since it's the newer label and it was a good deal, I still picked it up. Okay, this is funny. <laughs> I don't know how to say this brand. Please comment it if you do. It is like bechamel, bechamel is like how I say it. Two, I don't know what this double line is, but it is this frog sweatshirt. Funny story about this brand, there's also a frog on the back. 
I got a bechamel cat sweatshirt way back, like probably some of my first couple months of reselling, and it sold really, really well. So I'm gonna try it again. They're like kitschy animal sweatshirts, and like they're actually kind of popular. So it's a 2X. I think it's really cute. Another fun fact, I, when I was like in elementary school and middle school, honestly, I was like the hugest fan of frogs. I was like the frog dude. Everything I had had a frog on it. My notebooks, my like folders, everything. I was like obsessed with frogs. My room was full of them. I just like loved them. The red-eyed tree frog was always my favorite animal. I still do really like frogs, but pugs are probably my favorite animal now. <laughs> this is a 10 the Crosby Derek Lamb, size zero. I thought this was really cute. It wraps over the front and it has this separate layer of eyelet cut out. Then we have an Ivory Ella, which surprisingly does pretty well for me. And if not, Plato's Closet like eats up Ivory Ella. Size medium, cute pink color. It always reminds me of like Vineyard Vines. And there's the elephant on the back. So this is a Mark by Mark Jacobs. That is a newer label and it's a size two. It's really, really cute. It's kind of like a farm girl top is what I would call it. But I love how like it buttons and then it just like, the buttons just go away right here. That's kind of a cool detail. Yeah, that's that. We've got another Alice and Olivia. This is actually from the same place as the other one. Once again, a different color tag. I don't know the age on any of them. This is also an extra small and it's like this silk green tunic tank. I think I prefer this one over the other one, but either way, I'm always excited to find Alice and Olivia. Then we have this cabby size extra small floral tank. This was super, super, super cheap. So that's why I wanted to get it. I don't get cabby very often, almost at all, but some pieces can do really well. That's more of a basic. So it'll probably just be good for like bundling or something. Next up is a Kemi and Kin and it's size extra small, small. We all know at this point that that is an anthropology brand and it's this cute lace kind of like boxy top with these scrunchy type sleeves that go out to the sides. This is Lily's Closet, which is also an anthro brand and it's size extra small. And it's this cute polka dot and stripe print throughout. All of her stuff kind of looks like this, like polka dot and striped. Um, I don't know. It, it's cute. It's again, a little more basic for anthro, but they're pretty cute. It's actually really soft too. This is a comfort color, size small, and I actually wanted to keep this for myself, but it does not fit me very well because of the sleeves, because I have like tree branch arms and it has a fish on the pocket and the waves. And this is really pretty like blue tie dye and the back has waves as well. And it says Lake Superior right there. So it might be a woman's small, or once again, it could just be a case of like, I have such long arms. This is a Vanessa Virginia by Anthropology. As I always say, when it says by Anthropology, that means it is quite new. It's this metallic floral pleated kind of tank top and it is new with tags. It retailed at 80 bucks. I just thought this was so pretty. Okay, this is Madewell. And like I always say, I'm getting very picky with Madewell, but I do really like this one. Size large. And it's this really oversized button up blouse. I think it's really chic with how oversized it is. Like it's a tunic button up, but yeah, fingers crossed that that'll do pretty well. It is a newer style too. Cause if you don't know, Madewell always has dates on the tags. This is simply, I've never tried this brand, but I've seen people say that it sells. So this is going to be my first shot with it. And it's a size 10. And it is this lace like button up and it is new with tag. That's also why I want to try it. It retailed at $205. And for being lace, it's actually crazy soft, which is really odd, but it'd be very comfortable to wear. Then once again, preparing for sweater weather, this is a J. Crew size medium. And it's this chunky turtleneck gray and cream sweater. I don't, I'm also really picky with J. Crew, and I don't really pick it up much anymore, but that'll be good once sweater weather is here. This is Anthropology, and it is a size extra large, and it is also a chunky turtleneck, 
but cream this time. And it is new with tag and it is made from Italian yarn. So it's bougie. And it retailed at $130. So that is the main reason I got this. I paid up like a teeny bit for it, but I thought it was really nice. Another brand that I really am picky with and like almost never pick up anymore, but this is new with tag and it's really new. It is Zara and it is a size small. And it is this really, really cute crochet sweater with pom-poms along the whole trim and then some pom-poms in the flowers. I think this is really cute. Crochet sweaters are like very popular with bloggers and Instagram people and everything. So that is another reason why I picked that up. This is Torrid size two and it's this super soft, flowy, like peplum button up. It's really cute. And it's an army green color. Army green is a really cute color. Then, this is actually Athleta Girl, which it literally says right here, but it is this adorable tie-dye hoodie, and it's a size large. I think it's really nice. I mainly got it because it was tie-dye, and I mean, it was at the bins, so either way, I'm sure I can do something with it. This is a size large men's Lululemon navy blue tee. It's got the logo in the place on the back where all the men's do, and it has no size tag, but fun fact with Lulu that you may not know, it has these three embroidered lines there, and this means small, medium, large. So since there's three, this is a large. If there were two, it would be a medium. If there was one, it was a small. I'm not sure if the women's ever have that, has that, but the men's like always does. So that's really helpful, and I wish they would always do that. So this is just gold toe, which is like Hanes and Gildan and stuff, size medium, but it looks identical to a Brandy Melville sweatshirt that is extremely popular and is like in Nordstrom right now. It has this really cute butterfly patch on the center middle and it's cropped length. So if it doesn't sell, it probably would be accepted by Plato's Closet and that's the main reason I got that. This is a size small umji. I already am not picking up Umji again. <laughs> I gave it a shot for like a month. I haven't sold any of it, but I'm getting this one because it has the long horn on the front and that's very like boho-y and people like stuff with long horn skulls like that. I don't know, and it's new without tag. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, another lesson I can teach you guys. So this is philosophy. And you might be thinking, Jack, philosophy is just TJ Maxx. Why would you pick that up? Actually, I think philosophy is at Nordstrom Rack too. But actually, there are like three different brands all called philosophy. There's the philosophy that's like the gold label that's at TJ's and possibly Nordstrom Rack. But there are two other philosophies. One is philosophy, philosophy by Alberta something. And the other is philosophy by some other person but this is the Alberta one, and both of the buy brands are so expensive. Like this probably retailed at a couple hundred dollars. Super cute too. I like how it's like printed because some of the stuff they make are a little more boring. <laughs> but another way you can tell if it's the expensive one is first off it has this bougie size tag. This is a size eight, but then it has the AFI thing which like Moschino and stuff uses, and it says made in Italy. So yeah, this is really expensive. The store I bought it from <laughs> did not know that, but yeah. So I was really excited to find that. I had heard about the brand, but I'd never seen it in person. This is Spiritual Gangster size small. This cute graphic tee that says, do all things with love. Graphics from Spiritual Gangster always do really good for me. So I was very excited to find that. Once again, not picking up this brand very often, but I did get this one, size medium, and it is Zara. I thought it was really cute with this like multicolored tweed front. It has fringe along the neck and along the bottom. And then the back is like this chambray denim. I don't know, it was like a really good deal. And tweed, Zara at least used to do really well, so we'll see how that does. This is American Eagle, and that is the new soft and sexy and the new label. 
it's just this cute like peach colored soft plush sweater again if it doesn't sell i'll just bring it to like plato's closet so this is a vintage hard rock cafe t-shirt and it's from denver and it actually has hard rock cafe on the sleeve too but it is actually really cool because the back has this huge cool print of like denver with a giant guitar I at first was gonna get that to tie dye and then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sell it as it is because it's really cool. Then we have, oh gosh, this is probably just going to Play-Dohs but I thought it was kind of cool. It's Volcom. I never thought I'd pick up Volcom and it's a size small, but it's this mesh top. You could literally picture this being sold at like ASOS and it has cherries embroidered all over it. Very sheer. Then, this is probably another Play-Dohs thing. This is Wild Fables, size small. It's this cute purple cropped kind of blazer plaid. I don't know, it's cute. Maybe it'll go on our second closet. Then, this is Gap. And I usually do not pick up Gap, but I cannot skip a star print. It has these cute stars all over it. It's also like so soft. This is insanely soft. Maybe I will like keep this for myself if no one ends up wanting it, but it's a size large women's. This is a Madewell sweater. I have sold one similar to this before and it did really well. Size small, a nice like rust color to it, but the back splits. I had like the same sweater before, but the back didn't split. So that's even better. This is J-O-A. Just One Answer is actually what that stands for. If you didn't know that, I learned that not too long ago. Size medium, and it is a turtleneck cold shoulder sweater. Once again, sweater weather's coming at some point. <sighs> this is so cool. Okay, so this is just vintage by like facets. I don't know what that is. <sighs> I love this thing. <laughs> this is a cat tapestry embroidered vest size medium but that's great but it gets even better my favorite show on the planet is portlandia if you haven't seen it please watch it it's so funny this vest was actually worn in the show by one of the main characters it blew my mind we were literally just watching it one night and i was like oh my gosh there's the cat vest i like could not believe it because like what are the odds that not only do you have something in your closet worn by your favorite show, but it's vintage. Like there literally probably aren't that many of these out there in general. So the fact that I have it and my favorite show had it, crazy. Blown away. A Coriland Coulter, which is one of my favorite anthropology brands, size four. It's like this embroidered print silky blouse and it ties in the back. I'm gonna try to speed this up because I still have a decent amount left. <laughs> then we have this tiny, which is also anthropology, size extra small. And it's this silk, weirdly asymmetrical print tank. This is a new with tag anthropology and it is just the by anthropology line. And it's a size small. Just kind of a striped kind of burnout blouse. I say burnout because it has like some texture and like thinner, lighter areas to it. This is a BDG, which is Urban Outfitters, size extra small. Once again, I'm getting this for sweater weather. Also, it actually kind of feels like Barefoot Dreams, so it's super soft. So I really like that. Then, still thinking about winter and cold weather apparently, this is a long down jacket and a really nice blue color and it is by Prana. It has some light discoloring at the pockets and at the wrists, but it's not that bad. And it's a size extra small. I thought this was really nice. I really like this color. It's actually the same color as the winter jacket that I wear, the puffer jacket. This is a Vince top and it's a size small. And it's kind of this like wide, more boxy type top and the sleeves kind of start off wide and then go tight. It's kind of hard to show, but that's that. 
This is a Velvet by Graham & Spencer, which can be sold at Anthro, and actually it seems like a lot of times when I find it, it is an Anthro one. This is an Anthro one, size medium, striped, and it has ties at the elbows. And there is a spot on this somewhere, I believe. It's pretty light, but yeah, there's a spot right there. I don't even know if you can see it, but it's really flowy and soft and I like it. So this is On The Road, which is a young, fabulous, and broke line, if you didn't know. And actually, this is from Anthro, which I didn't know until I got home and Googled it. I didn't even know that Anthro sold On The Road, but yeah, and this doesn't have a size in it, but I believe it's a medium. Like I said in the last part of this haul yesterday, I do pick up Calvin Klein and Calvin Klein Performance when it has the spell out like that. So yeah, I picked up this sweatshirt at the bins and it's a size small. Then, oh, this is funky. <laughs> this is a Zella. Where is the tag even? This thing is weird. Like this, <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> there it is. It's a size medium. And it is this, like, extremely long, draped top. It has sleeves. So you can, like, wrap it around you. You can let it hang. You can, like, wrap it like a scarf. You can wrap it over your shoulder. The model, there were, like, 13 model pictures of different ways to wear it. This is a Fabletics kind of aqua colored jacket. And it is a size small. This is another Madewell sweater. This, I believe, is a size extra small. There's no size, but it's this like cream tan turtleneck. This is a Lululemon, a Lululemon size four striped tank. So it's the same size as the sports bra from yesterday's haul. So if you wanted both, you can bundle them. This is a vintage Ralph Lauren one-piece swimsuit that I thought was so cool because it has the logo all over it. I believe this would be like a woman's small, but it has the blue Ralph Lauren label in it. This is a more basic Madewell, but it was in the bin, so obviously I was going to get it, and it's a size extra small. It's also really cute colors. So these last two things are super, super bougie. I actually have more to haul for you guys, but I think I'm gonna hold on to it and bring it home because Ryan did do some thrifting. So maybe we can do a haul together this week later, like, or next week, I mean, like Tuesday. So let me know if you wanna see that and we can do another two-person haul on Tuesday. But I will show you these last two things because I'm too excited not to. So this, I just picked up yesterday. It's this really nice, like, mesh, lace embroidered dress with this cool ladder detail to it and it is sandro perry um sandro paris as people say i just wanted to appease nick and see i resell but it is a size if you didn't know sandro paris crazy expensive sandro sportswear sandro petite not expensive it might not have a size okay so there is no size i mean if you're interested i can get you measurements this is like a $600 dress, so I am gonna mark her a bit high, but yeah, it's really cute and I was very excited to find my first Sandro Perry. This, I'll be frank, this was from Online Arbitrage. I wish I found this kind of stuff in person. This is Givenchy Paris, and it is this beautiful, beautiful jersey dress with this mosaic abstract print throughout. Someone on Instagram, because I posted a picture on my Instagram story, someone was like, that is not a dress, that is a piece of art. And I completely agree. This is so beautiful and it is like heavy. Like this is some substantial, substantial material. The size on this is somewhere in here. It's a size small, but yeah. I don't even know what I'm going to price this at. It retailed at $2,000. I don't know yet. <laughs> that might be something that will do really good on Tradesy, but I do think I'm going to try selling it myself at first instead of sending it to the real real. but who knows where it's going to end up going. So that is all I have for you today. 
I still didn't finish my haul. I literally need to take such a long time off of sourcing, but it's so hard to not go sourcing. I have too much stuff. Help. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching part two of this haul. I hope you enjoyed having a bonus video this week, and Ryan and I will see you guys tomorrow for a What's Sold Saturday. Bye.